Hello everybody, I'm David Poole, Roastmaster at Farmer Brothers Coffee. Today I'm going to show you how to make cold brewed uh, toddy coffee, which is great for iced coffee. Uh, toddy is a fantastic way to make uh, iced coffee because you're using cold water and you get about 70% less acid um, in the, the finished product compared to hot brewed um, iced coffee. Um, so before we get started, let's look at all the supplies that we need. To begin with, we've got a five gallon uh, toddy uh, container right here. Uh, we have five pounds of a fresh roasted um, medium to dark roast coffee. Um, this is going to be coarsely ground. We've got a nylon mesh filter, uh, which is reusable. Might get a little stained over time, but that's okay. Just keep it uh, washed with uh, water and dry. Uh, we have a paper filter, which only gets used once. We have a spring to tie that filter up. Um, and then we've got four gallons of water. Um, that water needs to be uh, filtered um, and it needs to be uh, cool and not, not warm. So let's go ahead and get started. It's very simple. Take the lid off of your toddy maker. Go ahead and put the nylon filter on the outside, just like that. It's got elastic on the outside to keep it in place, just like that. Okay, so next step is to take the paper filter and put this down inside of that nylon filter. And again, the nylon filter is reusable, so it's really just there to hold this paper filter in place. And when we're done brewing, to allow you to pull that filter out without it breaking. Right, because we're putting five pounds of, of coffee in there, which is a lot for, for one filter. So next step is, so you got your filter in there. You're going to go ahead and carefully put your ground coffee in the paper filter. And it has a tendency to want to kind of collapse on you a little bit as it's settling in, so you're going to have to move it around a bit. And you just dump it all in there, just like that. And go ahead and throw out the bag. And there's your coffee in there, in the filter. The next step, you're going to save this string for later. This is going to be to tie up the, the filter. Uh, put the lid over there now. So we've already got our water uh, measured out. It's, it's uh, four gallons of water or four, eight, 12, 16 quarts of water, depending on what your measuring container says. And you're gonna wanna saturate the, the coffee with the first four quarts or one gallon of water, just like that. So pour it over the, the coffee ground slowly, making sure you're saturating everything and try not to hit the filter. There we go. So we've got the one in there. At this point, you can go ahead and tie up the bag. And you want to tie it pretty close to the top because as the coffee uh, is brewing, it's going to expand. And you want it to have room to expand so that it's um, mixing well with the water. So tie it close to the top of the, uh, the filter. Just tie a simple knot. Like so. Okay, so once you're done with that, you've got something that basically looks just about like that. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pour the rest of your water on and pour over the filter. That's two gallons. Can get pretty full at this point. There you go. So, ready to go. At this point, you can go ahead and put the lid on. And the toddy is going to brew for 8 to 16 hours. So, overnight is a great time to do it. Brew the coffee in the afternoon, and it's ready to go in the morning. So your toddy has now uh, been brewing 8 to 16 hours and it's, it's ready to go. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid off of your, your toddy and actually remove the filter from the, from the brewed coffee. It takes a minute for that 
coffee to drain out of the, the filter. Um, so give it a sec, just kind of hold it up there and the, the coffee will drain out of the filter. At that point, you want to carefully take your filter out, dump it in the garbage, but keep the nylon mesh filter, wash that out, and dry it off. At this point, you're going to be left with about two and a half gallons of uh, concentrate. That concentrate needs to be diluted with water before it can be served to customers over ice. So what we have here is a cylinder that shows you 100 uh, milliliters of, of toddy. We would go ahead and add that up, add uh, 200 milliliters of water to that, which would give you a good, a good ratio. And I'm just going to go ahead and try this out right now and see how it tastes. And you can do this to your taste. So it could be a little bit weaker, it could be a little bit stronger, but it's about two parts water to one part toddy. You could go up to three parts water to one part toddy if you want it weaker. And two to one ratio tastes really good. So at this point, what you would do is you would serve it to your customer over ice. Um, of course, you can add creamer to it, um, you can add milk to it to make uh, ice lattes, you can add flavor shots. There are a whole array of options and recipes you can use with, with the toddy. Um, you'll want to store it in the refrigerator at this point. Um, that will keep up to two weeks. Uh, most customers go through it much quicker than that, but the shelf life on it is, is about two weeks as long as it stays in the refrigerator. Um, and you're all set. So again, I'm David Poole with Farmer Brothers Coffee. Thank you for joining me in this uh, demonstration of uh, toddy cold brew coffee. Hello everybody, I'm David Poole, Roastmaster at Farmer Brothers Coffee. Today I'm going to show you how to make cold brewed uh, toddy coffee, which is great for iced coffee. Uh, toddy is a fantastic way to make uh, iced coffee because you're using cold water and you get about 70% less acid um, in the, the finished product compared to hot brewed um, iced coffee. Um, so before we get started, let's look at all the supplies that we need. To begin with, we got a five gallon uh, toddy uh, container right here. Uh, we have five pounds of a fresh roasted, um, medium to dark roast coffee. Uh, this is going to